looking at here guys seems to be an angel and this video was taken in Jerusalem Have you ever wondered what it would be like to witness a miraculous event in one of the world's most sacred cities? Recently, an extraordinary phenomenon unfolded in Israel that has left everyone in awe. Imagine a bright light descending over the dome of the rock in Jerusalem, only to suddenly shoot up into the sky. This remarkable event, captured on video over the weekend, has sparked a wave of curiosity and amazement. Picture this amidst the ancient stones of the Western Wall, where prayers have echoed for centuries, a divine revelation occurs. Could it be that Jesus Christ, the Archangel Michael, and a multitude of angels chose this spiritually charged city to reveal themselves? Join us as we delve into the details of this astonishing event and explore the profound impact it has on faith and history. Please watch the entire video to get answers to these questions and also not to miss the shocking truth that I will reveal at the end of the video. Fíjate. ¿Qué coño es esto, tío? Go, man. This is not the first time a celestial phenomenon has appeared in Jerusalem. Since 2016, similar images have graced the skies of Israel numerous times, with sightings reported in 2017, 2021, 2022, and 2023. Whether it is day or night, every year believers in Jerusalem have witnessed the luminous descent of Jesus and the angels. This recurring divine arrival has sparked profound wonder and excitement amid ongoing conflict. What does this extraordinary visitation symbolize, and why has Jerusalem been specifically chosen as the backdrop among all the cities in the world? As we journey through the annals of time, we encounter a rich tapestry of events that suggest a divine hand guiding and guarding Israel. From miraculous victories in wars to inexplicable phenomena witnessed on the battlefield, the signs of divine intervention are unmistakable. One cannot help but be struck by the events of the Six-Day War in 1967. Facing overwhelming odds, Israel emerged victorious against all expectations, despite being outnumbered and outgunned. Israel's triumph stands as a testament to the divine protection bestowed upon the nation. Yet the hand of divine providence extends far beyond the battlefield. In the aftermath of conflict, reports have emerged of celestial visions above Israeli armored vehicles, symbols of God's unwavering protection amidst the chaos of war. Israeli troops, filled with energy and resolve, stand as a testament to the divine shield that surrounds them, leaving analysts and believers alike convinced of divine intervention. The story of divine protection over Israel is not confined to the pages of history. In recent years, reports have surfaced of a storm cloud with dust and rain, acting as a barrier between Israel and its enemies. As ISIS forces advanced towards the Israeli border, the storm halted precisely at the Syrian border unable to penetrate Israel's Golan Heights area. Many interpret this as a modern-day manifestation of divine protection, preventing harm from befalling the nation. Perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Israel's story is its resilience in the face of adversity. Despite facing over 2,500 years of scattering and persecution from the Babylonian exile to the horrors of the Holocaust, Israel has emerged stronger and more resilient than ever before. This resilience is a testament to the enduring faith and divine providence that have guided the nation throughout its history. As we reflect on the story of Israel, we are reminded of the words of Scripture, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose for his inheritance. Psalm 33:12. Indeed, Israel's story is a testament to the enduring love and protection of a faithful God who watches over his chosen people. Central to the concept of spiritual warfare is the role of angels, emissaries of God tasked with protecting and guiding believers in their journey through life. 
Chief among these celestial warriors is Archangel Michael, whose name means who is like God. In the biblical text, Michael is portrayed as a powerful and formidable figure, leading the heavenly host in battle against the forces of darkness. One of the most striking examples of angelic intervention in recent times is the reported appearance of Archangel Michael above Israeli armored vehicles during times of conflict. These celestial manifestations serve as a powerful reminder of the unseen forces at work in the world, guiding and guarding those who put their trust in the Lord. But angelic intervention is not limited to physical manifestations. In the spiritual realm, angels are engaged in a constant battle against the forces of evil, fighting to protect believers from spiritual attack and temptation. As the Apostle Paul writes for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms, Ephesians 6.12. In the face of such formidable adversaries, it is comforting to know that we do not fight alone. Just as Archangel Michael stood by the side of Israel in times of conflict, so too does he stand by the side of believers today, ready to defend and protect them from the schemes of the enemy. As we peer into the pages of Scripture, we find numerous prophecies that point to the end times and Israel's central role in the unfolding drama of eschatological events. One such prophecy is found in the book of Zechariah where the prophet declares, Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about, when they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem, Zechariah 12.2. This prophecy speaks to the geopolitical significance of Jerusalem in the end times and the role it will play in the final showdown between good and evil. Amidst the chaos and uncertainty that grips the world, Jerusalem stands as a beacon, its ancient walls bearing witness to the fulfillment of ancient prophecies. The city, once again thrust into the spotlight of global attention, becomes a focal point for speculation and interpretation. For people in southern Putnam County, loud noises in the sky this past weekend literally rocked their world not in a good way. What is going on? Multiple videos of horn sounds coming from the heavens and records of Jesus appearing in the sky over Israel months ago have gone viral, leaving us all wondering. Picture this, you're walking through the age-old streets of Jerusalem, the sun dipping low, casting a golden glow upon the city's ancient stones. Suddenly, a sound breaks the silence, not just any sound, but a symphony of trumpets that seem to resonate from the very heavens above. It's a sound that grips your soul, whether you're a devout believer or someone still searching for faith. And it's not just Jerusalem. Across the globe, from the emerald skies of distant lands, this mysterious trumpet call reverberates. It's not the familiar chime of church bells or temple gongs, but something altogether otherworldly, something that sends shivers down your spine, a portent perhaps of events yet to unfold. Reports of identical occurrences have surfaced internationally, from North America to Europe and beyond. Indeed, this is a worldwide phenomenon of unprecedented scale and scope. Consider the accounts of those who have witnessed these events firsthand. In Israel, reports speak of a sound so loud it rattles windows and shakes the very ground beneath their feet. In North America, residents describe a low droning hum that seems to permeate the air for miles around. In Europe, similar noises have been heard, prompting speculation and fear among those who bear witness to them. These eerie noises have been recorded in places like San Francisco, where people have heard what sounds like loud trumpets blaring in the sky. Videos capturing the phenomenon proliferated on social media, igniting a global conversation about its origins and implications. The unsettling nature of the sound was matched only by the perplexing details captured in recordings. Witnesses described the noise as akin to the blaring of trumpets, evoking ancient imagery of celestial heralds and divine proclamations. Strange sounds were also heard across Terrace, British Columbia, early one morning, lasting for about 10 minutes. Speculation about what caused it ranges from the Aurora Borealis to aliens, or it could just be a prank. For several days, American residents have been puzzled by a strange noise they hear late at night. Some say it sounds like an explosion, a sonic boom, or random fireworks, while others describe it as loud booms or hums. Reports come in all types low-frequency hums, the crack of thunder on a clear day, and the sound of cannon fire in the middle of nowhere. 
Nobody knows for sure what it is or where it's coming from. Some believe it is the sound of trumpets that reminds us of the story in the book of Revelation. It says, the end of the world will be announced with the sound of seven trumpets, each blowing, bringing a new apocalyptic event. Is this the judgment trumpet? The apocalypse clue that the end time has come? This phenomenon has left many questioning the significance of these events. Are these celestial signs meant to convey a divine message? What could the repeated appearances of Jesus and the angels, the sounds of trumpets in the sky, and the seemingly miraculous protection over Israel indicate about our current times? One interpretation is that these events are a reminder of God's presence and intervention in the world. The biblical accounts of divine protection and guidance throughout Israel's history underscore the belief that God continues to watch over his chosen people. The appearance of celestial phenomena serves to reaffirm faith and inspire believers to trust in divine providence. Another perspective considers these events as harbingers of the end times. Biblical prophecies, such as those found in the book of Revelation, describe celestial signs and sounds heralding the approach of the final judgment. The recurrence of these phenomena in Jerusalem, a city of profound spiritual and prophetic significance, may be seen as a fulfillment of these ancient prophecies. No one knows for sure what these mysterious occurrences in the sky over Jerusalem mean. While these events are both scary and confusing, it's important to be both curious and critical when trying to understand them. Why haven't they been studied more extensively? Is it because science can't yet explain them? Or are there other reasons, such as a fear of causing public panic? The connection to the Bible is intriguing. Some people say the sounds resemble trumpets, which appear in the book of Revelation as a sign of the apocalypse. Additionally, the story of the walls of Jericho falling after trumpets were blown in Joshua 6 suggests a long history of perceiving loud sounds from the sky as significant religious events. These examples show that the idea of the heavens making important sounds is deeply rooted in our cultures and beliefs. Meanwhile, on the other side, some people believe that the image of things floating in the air is a sign of Jesus coming to earth for upcoming events. What does this mean? Are these just quirks of nature? Or could there be a deeper, more divine message encoded in these celestial phenomena? Today, we're diving into a journey that bridges the gap between the heavens and the earth. We're not just talking about any signs, we're exploring the signs that have been whispered about for millennia, those foretold in the Bible against the backdrop of our modern day world. The trumpets of judgment appear not only once but seven times. The number seven tends to represent something being finished or complete hence, God's creation was complete on the seventh day. It also tends to represent divine perfection. Ahead of the numbers we see in the Bible, seven appears far more frequently than most others. God creates the world in seven days, including the resting day Genesis 1. In fact, the number seven appears more than 700 times throughout the Bible. Jacob works seven years for Laban before he marries his daughter Genesis 29. We also can't escape the number seven in Revelation in terms of seals, trumpets, and more. Often we see the number seven in reference to holy works of God. God creates the earth in seven days Genesis 1. He commands the Israelites to make the seventh day of the week Sabbath, a holy day filled with no working activities, Exodus 28, 11. Seven trumpets are sounded by seven angels, which are meant to signify the end times and the judgment of God, according to Revelation. When the first angel sounds his trumpet, hail and fire mixed with blood are thrown down from the sky, and a third of the trees and all the green grass are burned up. The following trumpets bring additional destruction and plagues upon the earth. Who will hear these loud voices? John certainly heard the trumpets as Christ delivered that revelation to him. However, there is no specific indication that the mass of humanity on earth at the time will hear the sound of those trumpets. But how about these days? Nearly every American has reported hearing strange sounds, so does that mean God has shown a sign for everyone to hear? At this point, the important issue becomes who recognizes those sounds as real signs. The events heralded by those trumpets are of tremendous significance to all of humanity, and God has informed us in advance so that we may choose the right side of history before those events occur. 
Is it God's wrath through the trumpet sound? The recent eruption in the Tonga Islands parallels the imagery found in the Book of Revelation. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha, a Pai volcano in the South Pacific Ocean generated shock waves resulting in unusually high waves reaching as far away as the Caribbean. The last of the three blasts generated as much energy as 15 megatons of TNT, making it hundreds of times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. The eruption serves as a poignant reminder of humanity's vulnerability in the face of nature's wrath and God's sovereignty over creation. People panic when confronted with events of such astronomical proportions. Is this just a natural phenomenon? Or is it a message God is trying to tell us? This might be a sign when the first trumpet is sounded. Isaiah 33 12 states, the peoples will be burned to ashes like cut thorn bushes. They will be set ablaze, is it possible that humans will face even deadlier disasters? Isaiah's prophecy and Peter's warning suggest impending disasters. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 ad buried Pompeii, revealing its advanced culture but also its moral decay. The city's prosperity was overshadowed by its rampant prostitution and moral decline, leading to its destruction. Do you see any connection here? Is it because people there disobeyed that it led to the wrath and judgment of God? Even though Pompeii experienced a wipeout like an end time, the ease with which modern technology allows for the addition of such effects leaves room for doubt and speculation. In the midst of fervent debate and divided opinions, believers are reminded to seek discernment and wisdom in discerning the truth. Whether these sightings are genuine manifestations of divine glory or cleverly crafted illusions, let us approach the discussion with humility and a steadfast commitment to seeking the truth. For in the pursuit of understanding, we draw closer to the mysteries of God's creation and the unfathomable depths of His divine plan. Amidst the swirling debates surrounding the authenticity of these videos, the divide between believers and skeptics deepens. Yet as followers of Christ, we are called to seek truth with discernment and wisdom, anchoring our beliefs in the light of God's Word. In the pursuit of understanding, it's essential to examine the evidence with a critical eye, just as the Bereans did in Acts 17.11, diligently searching the scriptures to test the validity of claims. As we scrutinize the purported footage of extraterrestrial visitation over the sacred dome of the rock, biblical principles guide our discernment. The Apostle Paul reminds us in 1 Thessalonians 5.21 to test everything hold fast what is good, urging us to weigh every claim against the plumb line of God's truth. Upon closer examination, discrepancies emerge. The alleged spaceship appears minuscule against the grandeur of the dome, raising doubts about its otherworldly origins. Drawing upon the wisdom of experts like Robert Schieffer, who have dedicated their lives to investigating phenomena beyond our understanding, we find clarity amidst the fog of speculation. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them Revelation 8.2. These trumpets, when sounded, unleash a series of divine interventions, hail and fire mingled with blood, a burning mountain cast into the sea, stars falling from heaven to earth, and more. Each trumpet blast is a marker, a celestial signpost pointing towards the inevitable conclusion of the world as we know it. Following this cosmic upheaval, a poignant warning is sounded by an eagle soaring through the heavens, foreboding the impending woes accompanying the next three trumpets, thus labeling the fifth, sixth and seventh trumpets as the three woes. These subsequent events, as elucidated in the book of Revelation, signify intensified tribulations. The fifth trumpet heralds the onset of the first woe, unleashing demonic locusts to torment those not sheltered by God's grace. Their emergence triggered by a fallen star granted access to the abyss, inflicts excruciating pain for five months upon humanity. As the tapestry of divine judgment unfolds, the imperative question arises, how can one flee from the wrath of God? The answer lies in Christ Jesus alone. Trusting solely in his righteousness and sacrificial atonement on the cross, humanity finds redemption and salvation amidst the chaos and tumult of the end times. The timeless truths encapsulated in Isaiah 65 further illuminate the path of judgment and salvation. Underscoring the divine invitation extended to all, irrespective of their past transgressions or misguided pursuits. Yet as humanity grapples with the revelation of divine justice, 
the echoes of skepticism persist, challenging the steadfastness of faith and the unchanging character of God across the ages. Across the annals of time, the unwavering essence of the divine remains an immutable force, transcending epochs and guiding humanity's journey through the ages. The year 2024, with its symphony of unexplained sounds, ignites a fervor among those who view these events through the lens of biblical prophecy. The sounds from the sky, trumpet-like to some ears, resonate with the warnings of revelation. Could these be the very sounds foretold millennia ago, now manifesting to signal the nearing of the end times? This question stirs the soul of the faithful and fuels a broader contemplation of our place in the cosmic timeline. Consider the historical context of these prophecies the biblical authors, inspired as they believed by divine revelation, were encapsulating a message not only for their time but for all of humanity's future. Fast forward to our present, and the vivid descriptions of celestial trumpets find a mirror in the mysterious sounds reported globally. It's an alignment too compelling for many to dismiss as mere coincidence. In this light, the phenomena of 2024 become not just a subject for scientific scrutiny but a canvas for theological interpretation. Churches, synagogues, mosques, and temples around the world are abuzz with discussions and sermons interpreting these sounds as divine messages, urging reflection, repentance, and preparation. The importance of the number seven in biblical texts, the recurrence of celestial phenomena, and the global nature of these occurrences all point to a significant moment in human history. Whether these events are signs of divine intervention, prophetic fulfillments, or unexplained natural occurrences, they compel us to reflect on the spiritual dimensions of our existence and the mysteries of the divine. Social media platforms are flooded with clips of the mysterious sounds over Jerusalem, overlaid with verses from Revelation viewed and shared by millions. People are seeking understanding or offering their interpretations, Yet amidst this spiritual awakening, a critical mind might pause to consider the Bible, particularly the book of Revelation. It speaks in a language rich with symbolism, a language meant to convey truths transcendent of literal interpretation. The trumpets, therefore, could be symbolic of broader spiritual or moral calls to humanity rather than auditory phenomena to be recorded and analyzed. Scholars of theology remind us that the apocalypse as envisioned in Christian eschatology, is not merely about destruction but about purification and renewal. The end times bring not just the end of the world but the inauguration of a new divine kingdom. In this context, the sounds from the sky in 2024 could be interpreted not as warnings of imminent doom but as reminders of the ongoing spiritual journey of humanity, a call to awaken to deeper truths and values. As we delve deeper into the biblical perspectives on these mysterious sounds, we find ourselves at the intersection of faith and reality, of ancient prophecy and contemporary phenomena. The discussions that ensue are rich with passion and diversity, reflecting the myriad ways in which humans seek to understand the mysteries of existence. In churches and homes, in quiet contemplation or spirited debate, the sounds of 2024 prompt a collective introspection on what it means to live in a world where the divine and the earthly are intertwined, where ancient texts echo in the events of today urging us to look beyond the surface to seek the spiritual significance woven into the fabric of our daily lives. Navigating through the rich tapestry of biblical prophecy and the mysterious symphonies of the sky, we find ourselves anchored by the echoes of history. These auditory phenomena, resonating through the annals of time, are not mere curiosities they have been interpreted as divine communications guiding, warning, and sometimes chastising humanity. Let's traverse back to ancient times where history and prophecy intertwine. Consider the walls of Jericho, which crumbled to the ground at the sound of trumpets as recounted in the book of Joshua. This event, beyond its historical context, has been a metaphor for divine intervention and the power of faith. Our planet, speaking in a language of pressure and release, also introduces technological and human-made sources into the arena of explanations. The proliferation of drones, for example, has introduced new sounds into our environment, their propellers cutting through the air with a hum that can confuse and startle. 
Industrial activities too have their auditory signatures, machinery, explosions, mining, or the testing of experimental aircraft can all generate sounds that, under the right conditions, become part of the global chorus of mystery. The military, not to be outdone, has its array of sonic devices and technologies, some of which are designed to remain secret. The testing of sonic weapons, aircraft capable of breaking the sound barrier, or even the launch and re-entry of spacecraft can produce sounds that ripple through communities, leaving a wake of speculation and fear. In certain cases, these activities are confirmed sources of the sounds, revealing the overlap between human endeavor and natural phenomena in creating the soundtrack of our lives. Among the more benign scientific theories are those related to biological sources. The mating calls of animals, particularly those of marine life, can create sounds that, when carried and amplified by water and air, mystify those who hear them. The song of the blue whale, for example, is not only one of the loudest sounds produced by any animal but can also travel hundreds of miles underwater, potentially emerging as a haunting melody to an unsuspecting listener above the surface. Yet for all the explanations offered, many of the sounds remain unclassified, uncategorized, and utterly unexplained by current scientific understanding. They stand as a reminder of the limits of our knowledge, an invitation to wonder and to continue the quest for understanding. The work of scientists around the globe, employing the latest in technology and theory, continues unabated. Each scientist seeks to uncover a piece of the puzzle, to translate the language of the sky into terms we can grasp. In 2024, as reports of these sounds proliferate, so too do the efforts to understand them. Collaborations between atmospheric scientists, geologists, biologists, and technologists paint a picture of a world alive with noise, a planet that communicates in sighs, roars, and melodies. While we may inch closer to understanding the sources of some sounds, others remain defiantly mysterious, echoing across our skies, through our communities, and within our minds. The exploration of these sounds is more than an academic pursuit, it is a journey into the heart of mystery itself. A journey that asks us to listen, to learn, and to marvel at the complex symphony of our world. The sounds of mystery beckon us to explore, to question, and ultimately to connect more deeply with the natural and man-made world around us. As we advance in our understanding, we find not only answers but also new questions, new mysteries to explore. The conversation between Earth and sky is ongoing, and we, the curious inhabitants of this planet, continue to eavesdrop, ever hopeful of deciphering the message. As we navigate through the echoing corridors of scientific exploration, another narrative whispers from the ancient texts, casting the shadow of prophecy across our modern understanding. This narrative is not grounded in the tangible, the seismic, or the atmospheric, but in the realm of the spiritual, the divine, the Bible, a cornerstone of faith for billions, speaks of signs and the importance of celestial announcements heralding the climax of human history, the apocalypse. In the heart of this prophetic vision is the book of Revelation, a scriptural enigma that has fascinated and confounded theologians and believers alike for centuries. Here, amidst visions of beasts and judgments, are the trumpets seven in number each a herald of cataclysms intended to precede the end of days and I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them, Revelation 8-2. These trumpets, when sounded, unleash a series of divine interventions, hail and fire mingled with blood, a burning mountain cast into the sea, stars falling from heaven to earth, and more. Each trumpet blast is a marker, a celestial signpost pointing towards the inevitable conclusion of the world as we know it. Of the numbers we see in the Bible, seven appears far more frequently than most others, God creates the world in seven days if we include the resting day Genesis 1. In fact, we see seven appear more than 700 times throughout the Bible. Jacob works seven years for Laban before he marries his daughter Genesis 29. We also can't escape the number seven in Revelation, in terms of seals, trumpets, and more. Often we see the number seven in reference to holy works of God. God creates the earth in seven days Genesis 1. He commands the Israelites to make the seventh day of the week Sabbath, a holy day filled with no working activities, Exodus 28.11. In Revelation, we have quite a few series of punishments pouring out the wrath of God upon the earth. The seventh seal introduces the seven trumpet judgments that wreak destruction with hail and fire. 
These seals, as depicted in the sacred text, foreshadow a succession of apocalyptic cataclysms, serving as harbingers of Christ's imminent return and the dawn of the eschaton. Unfolding across the pages of Revelation, from chapters 5 to 8, the prophecy of the seven seals emerges from the visionary experiences of John the Apostle during his exile on the desolate Isle of Patmos. Within this celestial vision it becomes apparent that none among mortals or celestial beings can claim the authority or righteousness requisite to break the seals and unveil the scroll's mysteries, not even the most devout servants of the Almighty. The weight of this realization burdens John's soul, evoking profound sorrow as he grapples with the uncertainty of whether anyone exists with the capacity to decode the prophetic revelations contained within the sealed scroll. Yet in the midst of John's despair, a revelation unfolds. An elder, a wise harbinger of hope, appears to assuage John's distress, revealing the presence of one worthy to break the seals and unfurl the scroll the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David. This enigmatic figure, celebrated for his lineage and divine authority, embodies the power to unravel the scroll's enigmatic contents. While for many this figure unequivocally represents Jesus Christ, the incarnate Son of God, the interpretation invites believers to reflect on the deeper spiritual truths conveyed through these ancient symbols and their relevance to the mysteries of our contemporary world. The ongoing dialogue between faith and reason, between ancient prophecy and modern scientific inquiry, continues to shape our understanding of the mysterious sounds of 2024. As we seek to decipher their meaning, we are reminded of the timeless interplay between the divine and the earthly, urging us to listen with both our minds and our hearts.